It's my anniversary. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very, very good day. I've been vegan for four years. Anyway, today, in honor of my veganversary, I am making a three course meal. So, what we're making first, so, okay, let's talk about this. I didn't have a single clue what to make because I never eat a three course meal, honestly. However, Recently, I'm going to be a little bit honest and personal, <laughs> of course. I have not been doing so well in the eating department. Um, perhaps I haven't eaten enough in the last two weeks. So it is a perfect opportunity to eat. So what we're doing for appetizers, we're making a smoothie. Right. So smoothie first. Then we're going to make these veggie burgers with cauliflower. Yes. And then we're going to make brownies as dessert. So, yes. Are you excited? Because personally, I've been thinking about this video for probably about two months now. I had no idea what I wanted to film, but I was so excited for so long to film my veganversary video. And I'm so grateful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I hear a speech coming? Yes, I do. I'm so grateful that... I am able to be here and have this channel. Let's talk about something. I'm honestly so grateful that I have this channel and that I pushed aside my fears and doubts within myself and that I decided to go forth with filming. I don't care if I have one view or one million views it's always gonna be like this. It's always gonna be me in my hoodie and you there looking probably all cute. And it's just, it's always gonna be this way. It's always gonna be this way. And I'm just so grateful that I get to share my things with you. I'm so happy that I get to be vegan four years, that I'm able to be in a place where I can make my own decisions for myself like that. And I'm so grateful that I get to share that with you. Um, recently, more and more people have been telling me that they watch my videos or they watch my videos again and it brightens up their mood. I'm not gonna put them on the spot and say, you know, that they were having a rough time. But one of my friends, one of my very close friends, texted me and said, you know, hey, like I wasn't feeling that great yesterday and I watched your videos before I went to bed and it genuinely put me in a good mood. That is what I live for. That is why I don't care if I have one view or one million views because all it takes is one person to watch my videos and be in a little bit better of a mood. That's all I need because when I originally started this channel, which is also an anniversary that's coming up or past or something, I don't know. I know I started, my first video was in March of last year. So that is yet another thing that I'm celebrating this month, which I'm just so grateful for. Um, yeah, it's just like when I first started this channel, I wanted it to be to lift people's moods that were stuck in quarantine or stuck in similar situations as me because I felt like shit all quarantine. Last year, you know what I'm talking about? We were all there. It fucking sucked for my mental health. And I was like, you know what? This could be fun for me and hopefully fun for someone else. And that is all that I ever wanted out of this channel. And I'm happy that that's what I have been getting. 
So now that the sappy, oh yay, Gia has emotions, yay. Now that that's over, I can continue my smoothie making. So far, I only have apple, I mean, a pear and lettuce in there. And you're probably like, Gio, what the fuck? Why would you put lettuce in a smoothie? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it has literally no flavor at all, but it's packed with vitamins. You don't taste it and it's very hydrating. So that's why. We're also gonna use the rest of these fresh blueberries because we already know how I feel about food waste. And unfortunately, I do not have any bananas. Dude, am I on speed or something today? Unfortunately, I do not have any bananas. So I don't know how that's gonna go oh i don't even have almond milk <laughs> me sometimes i do things and i don't think i simply do not think about the things that i do as i'm doing them and it's really starting to piss me off about myself shit you see i can't i can't uh, uh, uh. fuck man what the hell what the hell am i gonna do i can't use dairy milk yo what the fuck this is crazy. This is supposed to be a good video. Talking about, oh, I love brightening people's day. Now I'm fucking self-deprecating again. All right, I guess we'll just fucking have to see how this works out. This is probably gonna be the most disgusting smoothie I've ever made in my life. Watch it turn out to be the best and I'm just out here talking shit. Pause. Okay, so I kind of was shit talking for no reason because this looks good as fuck. And the best thing about being by yourself and not having anyone around you to perhaps cook for, um, even though you love cooking for people, is that you can drink out of things like this by yourself. This tastes like a summer drink as fuck. Hold on, because why, why is it that as soon as I step into the kitchen, it's like nothing, it's like I'm good at everything. I was gonna say nothing can go wrong, but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna put that risky energy out there for no good reason. Okay, so appetizer. This is actually good. Like, okay, maybe for someone who's used to drinking like fucking chocolate milkshakes and two fucking pounds of sugar in their coffee is not gonna like it. But I think for me, it's very good. So I don't know. Like if you're used to eating vegetables and drinking, I mean, and like fruits and shit and you don't need like a lot of sweetness, then this is very good. This is very, very good. And I can see myself drinking this perhaps in a cute little bohemian bikini in the, on the pool side or on the beach side. This is where I... Summer. Do I have anything in my teeth? Okay. So next, as we're drinking our smoothie, we're gonna start the main course, which is going to be very easy actually. Um. So what I'm doing is I'm really just gonna roast some cauliflower in the oven and put these veggie burgers, well this veggie burger in a pan. We're here to celebrate. We're not here to work hard. Tin foil, right. Oh, there's no tin foil. Nice. Parchment paper. Nice. All right. I love to see young children out in the neighborhood. Yes. It's a nice day. They are riding their bikes. I love to see it. I love to see them outside. Even though I fucking hate kids, it's very nice to see them indulging in outdoor activities. Cauliflower. That's definitely not how you say it. Okay, yay, we don't need a lot. Everything was very loud for a second. So we're gonna take some olive oil and some Cholula buffalo uh, hot sauce. It's not buffalo, sorry. Um, and it's just gonna be so gassed, you know what I mean? Also, I'm not sure if this is like the wrong thing to do because the cauliflower is frozen and I'm putting oil on it. I shouldn't see that as a problem. Um, we're gonna use, what did I use for this? Oh, pear. I don't give a fuck. I lather the cauliflower in oil 
That was very intimate. And then we're gonna just drop some of the Cholula hot sauce, AKA known as the best hot sauce I've ever had. Um, Pancake Factory in my hometown put me on big time because they have this here as their staple hot sauce. And I used to go there all the time, all wholesome little memory, um, all the time with friends and family, you know, when my family didn't hate me. Um, and even sometimes after they did, because, you know, it's the polite thing to do. Um, and I would always get something that involved the need for me to dip hot sauce, such as fries, you know, quesadilla, what have you, and just to eat the hot sauce because it's that good. So I don't have to continue talking about the hot sauce, but it is very good. And sorry you can't see me, even though I'm sure that's probably a little bit of a relief. Um, I was just grabbing my spices. I probably should be going over what I'm doing with you, but I was too invested in the hot sauce conversation. So what I just put on was salt, pepper, cumin, and now garlic. Nice. Mmm, that calls for a good smelling breath. Um, this is turmeric now because turmeric is so good for you and it's so full of flavor. And we're gonna call it quits on that. We're gonna be done with that and we're gonna pop this baby in the oven. I think the reason that I'm so happy is because the moon is in Pisces. Uh-oh, here she goes again, being crazy. What that means for all of you non-astrologers out there, even though I'm not an astrologer, I think you need like, uh, why am I sitting down? I literally have to make a, actually I should wait. Anyway, so, um, um, oh yeah, that means, <laughs> That means that, so the Pisces constellation um, is a space where natural creativity and creative energy and love and emotional emotions um, enter Earth. Okay, now I've lost the point of what I was making, but... Oh yeah, so I'm in a good mood because the moon is in Pisces. Overall, that means that everyone's supposed to be lovey, dovey, happy, creative, emotional, right? Today, we're gonna act like we know what I'm talking about for me, okay? This is actually, I am genuinely happier today celebrating my vegan birthday. <gasps> my nails are almost the same color as my smoothie. I'm happier today celebrating my vegan anniversary than I was celebrating my birthday. Tea. Calm down, what am I doing? I totally forgot that I was making brownies. What the hell? All right, so here we've got the dark chocolate fudge Duncan Hines brownie mix. Um, yeah, this is gonna be speed mode. Let's make sure I have enough applesauce because clearly I'm not so good with keeping up with my ingredients here. Um, so we have, oh, perfect. Oh, excellent, extravagant, amazing, great. Oh, measuring, this is speed mode. And it's so crazy that I'm moving this fast because I was literally as fuck an hour ago. Ugh. Recently I've been struggling a lot with dealing with the fact that I have emotions. Um, yeah. I, I don't like that I have them. But I also appreciate that I feel things because it means that I'm human and all that good shit and I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be feeling things. Even though it's just such a fucking inconvenience. Like, really? Really? Emotion? Like, you're just gonna feel that right now, dead ass? Bite me. You know, I was right. I need to just start trusting my intuition. I didn't know how many eggs were called for this recipe. And I was like, oh, like, let me check. No, I knew it was gonna be two. And I didn't trust myself. Note to self, always trust yourself. And note to self, always get a bigger bowl than you think you're gonna need because clearly I fucked up. Uh, okay. What is the issue? I feel like I'm having a lot of complications today. I'm actually really not. Today's going swell. Oh, I love applesauce. Fuck. Okay. Damn. This is like the impossible task right now. 
Okay. It's just like stuck to the bottom of the, not stuck, but just like immobile. Oh fuck, now I'm making a mess. Oh. I didn't mean for anyone to see that. That's gonna get... That... Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be blocking that out because... <laughs> okay. What was it? One third cup? Well, why is it not telling me? It just... What the fuck does this mean to you? What does this mean to you? A little bit of water, a little bit more- What the fuck? Where are the measurements? Is this a joke? Alright, I'm just gonna follow through with my intuition, put one third cup of oil, and then I- Wait, no, 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 because I'm gonna put two thirds of oil and one third cup of water. A little bit less than two thirds. Damn, good thing I know what I'm doing because what the fuck was that, dude? Dead ass. Like, what the hell? How am I supposed to know what you mean by that? The fuck? Anyway, so now I have to mix very slow and careful because I don't want this shit to go everywhere because then I will hate that. Ugh. You know what doesn't make sense to me? Why I hate chocolate cake with a burning passion as we saw in my cow cake. Um... But I like brownies, like a lot. Like the only dessert I really care for is brownies. And no offense, but I only really like my own brownies. I don't like store-bought brownies. Not that I ever fucking have store-bought brownies because hence the theme of this video, I'm vegan and everything for who knows fucking what reason has eggs and milk in it. When clearly I can thrive without it. Now we can pick up the speed. I should be making my burger right now you know, to keep it on the correct timeline is my cauliflower. However, clearly I'm not doing that because I'm a little bit behind on dessert. I think this is a good experience for me because I always talk about how I want my own bakery and or slash diner. Um, I'm always talking about that. It's like a lifelong dream I've had, um, having my own diner. And so cooking on a crunch like this is actually a very good learning experience. So I do appreciate this opportunity. You see what I mean? You gotta be appreciative, man. You gotta keep your energy high, man. Seriously. And you've gotta eat raw brownie dip batter. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm doing now is making a fucking fool out of myself. Psych. <laughs> what I'm doing now is first of all no um i'm just greasing the pan so the brownies don't stick you know you know the drill i'm very i know what i'm doing you know you know this you've been watching me for a fucking year now so you already know it's going down going down but i can't sing the rest because copyright go Anyway, so yeah, what's going down? I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm very grateful because I was not happy if just literally just a few days ago. Don't you just love that? Uh, how things change. But you know, I said it in my 2020 recap video. 20 things I learned in 2020, things change. You know? Dude, I'm disgusting. I'm literally... I do shit like this and I'd be like, Oh, <laughs> nobody wants to date me. I wonder why. <laughs> so, while I eat this, the rest of the brownie mix out of this bowl, what do you want to talk about? Damn, I wish I could share this with you. humiliating <laughs> i wish i could stop eating this mix so i can like finish my smoothie start cooking my burger you know set this aside because the oven is on 425 and that will burn the shit out of my brownies 
Yay, let's wash that down. Now we're gonna get a cute little pan. Cute little pan. And literally, I'm giving this here just to show you because every time I go to the stove, you guys can't see me and that would be very pointless because, well, you're watching my channel, so. Single patty in the pan, done. Imagine I just ate it like that. Yay! Now we put the pan on the stove. All right. While the stuff cooks, I'm gonna go off for a second so I can like breathe. Ah. Yeah. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys. Wait, do I have? Damn. I cannot do anything without getting dirty. Anyway, so we have our cauliflower and burger. Yay. Let's try it. Let's see if it's good. Okay. So the cauliflower, the cauliflower is a solid, I'd say a solid eight out of 10. Now, The veggie burger is actually excellent. I would give the veggie burger, I would give the veggie burger a seven out of 10. It was masala flavored or seasoned. Very good. I also got chocolate on my sleeve. Nice. Yes, no, this is very good. As you know, I don't like eating on camera, but here I am trying a little here on camera, but I am gonna sign off. The brownies are in the oven. I'm gonna finish this meal and then I'm gonna come back when the brownies are done and we're gonna taste those together. I'll see you in a few. Okay, the brownies are done. This is going to be a rapid taste test because I would like to hurry along now. Mmm. These are actually, <laughs> these are actually very good. Yes, I did a good job. All right, in conclusion, um, thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for spending this year with me because just as much as it's my vegan, my veganiversary, it's also my YouTube anniversary this month. I'm not sure what date. I have to look at my first video for that. But I know it was this month and I'm so grateful that I have been here with you and you have been here with me for the last year and i am so happy and so grateful that i just keep doing it <laughs> thank you i hope you enjoyed feel free to celebrate yourself fucking if you don't celebrate yourself what is it what is the point i love you have a wonderful day my cherubs and it's better to have love for everyone than to have hate for anyone. Have a good day, have a good week, have a good month, and enjoy and indulge in the Pisces moon.